welcome to Frima Dive. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to design that specific animation that you've seen or the scroll, let me call it a scroll focus effect. So you can use it to perhaps add images. So this is like a frame that you can use to you know, add some images inside. Like could be a gallery, could be a restaurant. Like, so you can pretty much use this to display products or images in your website with this nice reveal effect and also as you can see the background also uh, blurs out as we as we come inside so that's what i want to show you if you want to learn this let's dive in my name is Joe, and this is Frima dive let's get this started so uh here i have my workspace and I have a desktop set to 1200 width and then I have my navigation I have my hero which is just a placeholder and I have the footer which is also a placeholder so inside here I have my section 2 this is where we're gonna do the the dirty stuff this is where we're gonna draw and create that specific animation so um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna hold F on my keyboard to create my uh, just an image here and uh, I want you to make sure this one is pinned to all sides of your website. So make sure it's pinned to the top and also pinned to the left. So pinning, what happens with pinning it, make sure that even if this section becomes bigger, this image will grow with the section. So it makes sure that this is like our background. So I'm gonna use this one as our, our BG image. So this is an image where you see that is gonna blur out so i'm gonna just gonna put an image inside here so i'm just gonna grab an image very quickly and i'm um, gonna use like um animal and so we have this image okay so now what i'm gonna do is now i'm just gonna draw the frame again i'm gonna hold f on my keyboard and then <clears throat> make sure this frame is not behind uh, is not layered to the BG image rather make sure this frame is not nested inside this BG image I'm just gonna click it and drag it on top of it like that so I'm gonna call this my my frame so this is like my frame and then I'm gonna go to layout add a layout to it so a layout basically means that if we drew another frame inside here it's gonna stop it's it snaps at the center and this is what we want so this um this uh this new frame that we've drawn is will be our image so this is our image i'm just gonna go and fill it with an image so i'm gonna just go to my plugins and pick an image here i'll pick the same image that i'm using so that um we can see like the, the the nice uh, relation between this one is blood out this one is clear so then i'm gonna go to the image and i'm gonna make sure the size is width is set to fill the available space and the height is set to fill the available space so now we have something very uh you know it's just there so now we need to come to the frame and uh what we need to do is we need to add a padding and also before you add a padding make sure it has a fill color which is okay and so i'm just gonna come here to my um the frame and i'm gonna come here to padding this setting here i'm gonna increase the padding to anywhere like i think 20 will do so now as you can see it's now popping up so so we now imagine that this is our image which is behind you know it's behind this um, it's in front of this white space so uh what i'm gonna do next is to add some you know real realism to the image i'm just gonna come and add some shadows and i'm gonna as you can see what happens see here below i can increase the y-axis so but i want it to look very subtle and i'm gonna do the same for uh the x-axis which moves this as you can see um the x-axis should also go increase to like one i think one is okay i think it's okay perhaps two and um increase the blur a bit maybe give it like um six and spread a bit that um it kind of feels a little bit uh, realistic 
So now as you can see, um, it looks like our image is on top of this white surface. So that's just a small styling to make it more realistic. And then, so we're gonna go back to our frame and I'm gonna add a border to it. So I'm gonna come here to border and then I'm gonna pick like a solid or a gray color. I think, let me work with a gray color or black. Let me just go black and then go back to the border styling and increase it to a little bit bigger. So now we can have like um, 14 or something or 12. So what you're seeing here is that as we increase the border, the border is eating into our padding. So we need to come back to our padding and set a bigger padding. So here we need to set a bigger padding like um, 40 will do. Now as you can see, it looks like a real frame. So let me just view our website. And as you can see, it looks really nice. So the border gives it life. And then the margin, or the, the padding also creates the white space. And also the border of this frame gives it like a realistic frame. So which is pretty good. Um, so then the next thing I want, to, I want us to do is uh, we're gonna go to the frame, which is our image frame, and we are gonna change the size. So I'm gonna make sure the width is set to relative and I'm gonna use 120%. The reason why I'm using 120 is so that um, we can, we can, it can start, it starts from a bigger position and then it goes as we scroll, it's gonna go and shrink. And then the height is, I'm gonna use a height of like 720, I think this is okay. Somewhere there. And then I'm gonna make sure I go to section two, which is the parent and make sure it has a layout. And also, um, as you can see what happens, it pushes our, uh, so make sure this BG image is set to absolute so that it, it doesn't stack on top of this frame as we have seen here. So the BG image should be set to absolute and should be pinned to all sides of the border. So make sure it's pinned to everywhere. And then you wanna go to the frame and give it a Z index so that it comes on top of the of the background, which is, um, yeah, now it looks good. And then make sure this frame is set to um, a relative width of 120. Yeah, like that. I think that looks good. And then, yeah, so pretty much. And then the section is okay. So section, that's pretty good. So I think we also need to adjust the height of the frame. So we've given it 120 relative. We're gonna give it a bigger height so we don't see the 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 dark sides. So we don't see the, the 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 round frames. So let me give it like 900 in height. So now as you can see, we have the whole um the whole image taking all the space, and this is what we want. So. So now what we're gonna do is uh, I'm gonna now create the effect. So I'm gonna go to the frame and I'm gonna, before we do that, uh, make sure that, um, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go to the effects. I'm gonna come here to scroll transform. I'm gonna use scroll transform and when a certain section is in view, but we have not defined any sections yet. So we need to come to section two and click here on section two and go to scroll section, this plus icon, we're gonna define it as a section and let's call it one. So now when we go back to the frame that we wanna add an effect of scroll transform, we can come and pick uh, this one. So we can pick this one one, and then of course section in view. And of course, when we view it at the bottom of the viewport, and then we want it to start from of course, we wanna start from the initial size that we have. So that's why we're using one one, and then we wanna take it all the way, scale it down to around uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.6. Let's use 0 0.5 for now. So now if I go and view my website, as you can see, we see it as a whole image. And then when I scroll inside, we can see it's now transforming from this uh, big size to a smaller size. So now we need to go and uh, blur the BG. So um, let me quickly go to the BG image, the one that we created. And uh, you can come here to styling and you can 
it come here to filters and add a blah as you can see and i can add a blah so right now you can't see it because it's below it but when i view it let me show you as you can see it has a blah effect inside it so but what we want we want to add some more uh, interesting idea here we want when we scroll the blah is transforming so to do that we just need to do um we need to use different variants so that as we scroll we can see it becoming even the blah is changing from like from a mini blah to a very advanced blah so what i mean so i'm gonna just get rid of um I'm just gonna use my initial blah to be three and then now i'm gonna change this background image into a component by holding Control alt k so when i hold Control alt k and i create a new component and i create create as you can see it's blurry so i just need to create another one and another one so now i have three variants here so the second one i'm gonna use slightly high blur like six and then this other one i'm gonna use even a more advanced blur like um, 15 put in okay so now this one is more blurry so we want to see it happening from this state blur to this now deep blur as we scroll so now the second thing now we're gonna do is we want to trigger those blur variants using scroll section still so we need to come and create another scroll um scroll section so hold f on your keyboard and um make sure it's this frame is is inside it's standing alone like that so it's it's not in nested anywhere also make sure it's at to absolute and make sure it's pinned to the bottom right and pinned to the top so make sure it's pinned to the top and also pinned to the left so now as you can see we, you know, we're gonna call this our our dummy section okay so this is the one which we're gonna put some triggers and so let me let me hide these ones for now so that you can see what i mean so in this dummy section i'm gonna hold f on my keyboard and i'm gonna create a frame inside it so make sure this dummy this frame is inside the dummy section so i'm gonna just copy it inside the dummy section like that and i'm gonna come and give it a color and then this dummy section i'm gonna give it a layout and uh, i'm gonna make sure that this frame is set to fill so this uh so this is going to be my section one so let me call it one and then let me duplicate this three times i'm gonna call this two i'm gonna call this three and then i'm gonna use um i'm gonna create like a layout i'm gonna use distribute them uh space between so that we can have you know spaces between so this one i'm gonna use i'm gonna call it a uh, sec scroll section um x i'm gonna call it x and then this one i'm gonna this the the second one which is this mini one i'm gonna call it i'm gonna call it y and then this other one this third one i'm gonna call it z okay so now what we have here is that we have x y z so now we're gonna go to my bg image and i'm just gonna give it a color i just see how uh, they increase your opacity but you can't see it because um this dummy section is ahead so just gonna take it behind i'm just gonna make sure this we see what we have so but now let's just return the opacity back so i'm gonna go to the bg image and i'm gonna add um, an effect and i'm gonna use a scroll variant so we want one section in view when we want it when it's at the bottom of the viewport we want it to change so i'm gonna go to section x which is this red part this top red one and i want to set it to variant one and then i'm gonna add another section i'm gonna use a uh, section uh, scroll section y i'm gonna set it to variant two and i'm gonna also use scroll section z and i'm gonna change it to variant three so now what we have here is that when when we get to these specific sections x y and z we're gonna trigger from variant one two three depending on the scroll section that we are in so yeah that's pretty much it so 
now we can you know hide this scroll section because we don't need it if we don't this dummy section it shouldn't be in the view of the user i just need to hide it and then i'm gonna just return this back to where it was so now let's see what we have so as you can see when i start to scroll you can see that um, it's becoming blurry and blurry kind of can't really see it but as you can see the background is there's this idea where it kind of focuses as we continue to scroll which looks pretty good to me if you want to create another frame or you have a couple of images you can duplicate this and just change the images and then you're good to go so that's pretty much it and uh, i hope you learned something and see you in the next video